Hello my soccer universe and let's look at the Bundesliga. This is take two since I realized that the video that I made yesterday that the sound was lagging a lot and that's not how I want to have it. Again I'm making a Bundesliga review and I'm giving my new Ajax jersey an outing. Yeah, sorry I still don't have Bundesliga jerseys and yes I can get a Bayern and a Dortmund jersey for a rather cheap and I probably should do that. They're not my two favorite Bundesliga teams, but at least to get something uh, going there, I need a few. Uh, and but I don't want to spend too much money on that. But I also wanna don't want to get necessarily ones that I don't like. I mean, there are certain Bayern shirts. That are, yeah. I would say since I'm wearing this Ajax jersey, my new one, new old one from my brother. Um, let's start in the Netherlands and then we go to the goodness that is the Bundesliga because I really have to say the Bundesliga probably has the best title race at the moment in Europe. But let's uh, quickly look at the results. I mean it was all about Ajax against PSV but Ajax was already under pressure since AZ um, had a 4-0 win over Valweig. One of the table, Valweig. Um, less so, but I want to mention it. Feyenoord uh, beating MN 3 0, and Willem Dwey also with a 1 0 win. So this is kind of covers the top uh, four if we're talking about Ajax against PSV, which was all Ajax. Uh, I saw maybe the last 20 minutes or so, but I then watched the highlights quickly thereafter. It was an onslaught of Ajax that just couldn't get the ball over, over the line. Um, promise after having already missed uh, at least one if not two good chances um, after a really nice assist by Tadic makes it 1-0 but at that time it should have been already 1-0 and Ajax failed to pile on and so PSV was actually in the game late when even the goalkeeper came out uh, and threatened to uh, score he actually got to the header after corner but by the time I also saw that Ajax had already ch chances to make it 2-0 and put the game out of uh, the out of reach for PSV and yeah PSV is having a horror season which is so not like them because they usually are always up there so it it's really an off season for them if you look at the table Ajax now retains the three point lead over Alkmaar but it's uh, still a tight title race actually has me a little bit worried because uh, Lask is playing at set uh, soon and they seem to be a really good team. Feyenoord uh, and William Dwey are level on points 40 seem to be kind of set on the Europa League spots and if we see PSV is only fifth spot just one uh, ahead of Vitesse and uh, two ahead of Utrecht I think those are basically the teams that will uh, play for European spots. Bundesliga. Uh, as I said very exciting to watch the Bundesliga at the moment and I'm not a big Bundesliga fan but I have to say what's going on here is really good. What was not exciting was the Friday evening match between Hertha and Schalke. That was a snooze fest. I felt, I mean yes, I am still recovering and I was really uh, not feeling well that day but you know, I lie on the couch watch it. Uh, but I fell twice asleep during that match. Uh, for me the most remarkable thing is that Piontek is now playing for Hertha and continues his non-goal scoring form. Uh, very impressively there but um, and it was already boring I hated the blue and white against black matchup <sighs> doesn't seem appealing to me but the excitement started on Saturday well um, if we say Mainz against Bayern that was not very exciting because after half an hour the game was done and dusted with Lewandowski getting on the score sheet in the 8th Müller in the 14th and Thiago in the 26th St. Just only puts one back um, at the last minute of the regulation so was not that much of a great game but you know Bayern looks really really strong and uh, I am saying right now beginning of February the Bundesliga race looks really open I think we are in danger that Bayern will pull away because they have been toying with the opposition so far but the same to be honest, can be said for Dortmund, who again get a huge scoreline, again score five. I think they have they been scoring now five in every game since uh, the winter break ended, and this time they even keep a clean sheet against Union. Um, took just a tad longer than Bayern that Sancho got on the score sheet, and then the Haaland miracle, a miracle, 
you know, <laughs> being in Austria, I know what Holland can 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 do. So for me, it's a little bit less of a miracle, but it continues uh, in the 18th minute where he uh, slots home his uh, sixth in three games, and this time he was starting. Um, Holland also got fouled for a penalty that Marco Reus uh, slots home. Witzel adds one on the score sheet, the man with the mask. Uh, now, and um, Holland adds his uh, second of the night, his seventh in three games. I have to say, his goal scoring rate is actually going down <laughs> over time, but he's still seven goals in three games. I think no one else in the Bundesliga has ever done that. And Dortmund is at the moment a fun team to watch that goes forward uh, and scores a bunch. Still some uh, questions remain about their defense. Nice gesture at the end of the game. Neven Subotic, uh, who uh, is playing for Union, played for a long time for Dortmund, went alone in front of the Südtribüne and the uh, Dortmund fans were celebrating him. I think it was a really, really nice gesture uh, of a um, very um, verdiente player. Uh, Spieler is what we say in German, you know, one who really uh, put his work rate in for um, Dortmund. Uh, of the next three games, I barely saw a thing. Uh, Augsburg, Bremen. Um, Bremen had actually lead it in that one, but Augsburg turned it around uh, late through Vargas to uh, go uh, come away as a 2-1 uh, winner. We had uh, Düsseldorf and Frankfurt uh, playing other game where uh, Frankfurt in the last minute can manage an equalizer. And Hoffenheim beats Leverkusen was is a teeny bit surprising to me, but you know, it's this is not a game that I'm too interested in. Where again, uh, Leverkusen had the lead early, but Kramaric and Skoff uh, turned it around to make a 2 1 win for Hoffenheim. And then it was all Leipzig Gladbach, um, and I want to call this the game of the week for me. This was the best game that I saw this weekend. Um, absolutely exciting game from the get go. Uh, Teeny bit disappointment that Gladbach was playing in their blue jerseys. I was really hoping for green. I was I like those blue jerseys, but um, they look very retro to me, very Puma retro. But on the other side, I also have to say that those jerseys, um, they don't scream Gladbach to me. and They look a little bit more like goalkeeping jerseys. But... What can I say about this game? Uh, very open in the first 10 minutes with slight advantage Gladbach that only got bigger the, as the half moved on. And I had the feeling that uh, Leipzig had really trouble in the back of containing the likes of Thuram, Plea, uh, even the outside uh, players. It was absolutely, absolutely one-way soccer after about 15 minutes where Gladbach really asserted themselves. It it was like the reverse of the um, first fixture between those two in Gladbach where Leipzig really uh, had Gladbach on the ropes and this time it was the other way around. Uh, but it took a while until they got on on Skoshi, but once they get, uh, did, they got the ball of a Leipzig player in midfield quick uh, attack and then all four Gladbach attackers can pass the ball around uh, because the four Leipzig defenders let them. They are standing close around the box but the Gladbach uh, attackers can play it around. I think it was a pass uh, from the right a uh, little bit inside then across the penalty box and then back uh, from Van to player who just can put it easily in the net. Player in outstanding form as of late but more on him later. Then uh, a really nice pass into Thuram's path is just blocked off at the last moment. I mean, that should have been uh, the 2-0, but it arrives a little bit later when um, a really bad pass, I think it was Klosterman, uh, he wants to clear, plays it directly into Neuhaus, who with one touch really super pass, not only having the um, uh, mental... Uh, you know, being right there when the ball to intercept the ball, but not only intercept it, but play a really great pass into Hoffman's um, uh, uh, way where he can just slot it home to make it 2 0. That was something worth watching. It was a really, really great uh, 
start for Gladbach and they should have piled on. I think a 3-0 at the half was a possibility. Right after the half they had again a big chance but then uh, misfortune struck or they shot themselves into the foot. A Schick came on for, uh, for Leipzig and there was a long ball where uh, Jan Sommer who many say is the best Bundesliga goalkeeper at the moment. Yes, he made some great saves, but I always think he has a blunder in him. Now, there was a blunder now here, there, although I'm not sure if I can fully, fully blame him. Maybe he should have yelled more that Zakaria should get out of his way. So long ball comes, he gets out, he gets it, but he trips over Zakaria, falls down and his head up at the and puts the ball through his through Zakaria's leg. It was a really weird assist, so it goes back towards goal, into Schick's path, who can slot into the home, uh, in the empty net. 1-2. But this did not turn the game at that moment, because uh, Gladbach still had most of the possession, still seemed to be the way more dangerous team. What changed it is the player had a complete meltdown. He wanted to have a foul uh, called um, for him, so he wanted a free kick uh, at the center line, which, honestly, I didn't see it. And even if it was, uh, it's nothing to get so upset about. Referee goes over to him because he's complaining. And the referee goes, go, go, goes over to him. First kind of tells him, calm down. Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not giving. He goes on. He stops the game. Gives him a yellow card. And then he is still upset. Does <clears throat> like that. Gets a second yellow. Gets sent off. Now, I'm not in favor of this ending, also, although we've been seeing them in Italy. However, in Germany, there was a memo given to the referees, so I cannot really uh, blame uh, the referee as well because he needed to do what he was told to do. That exactly this constant uh, bickering at the referee needs to stop. So that's uh, why they they will give now more yellow yellow cards and this is kind of the first time a huge discussion in Germany whether this was right or not. Uh, it does not quite feel right, but it happened in the second league already. I saw it in Italy a few times. Uh, I do agree that I don't like when uh, when they go for everything at the referee. That gets a little bit out of hand, but this turned the game. Uh, Gladbach really shot themselves in the foot and then. It was all Leipzig from that moment on. Gladbach could hold them at bay, but uh, they were missing this linchpin with player on front um, that Embolo just could not provide. Um, Olmo came on for Leipzig, hit the post, um, and just when you thought that uh, Gladbach might hang on in Kunku, I mean, there were chances in there where you really thought it's just a matter of time. Nkunku then with a really great shot from uh, the distance makes it 2-2 in the uh, 89th and with some luck Leipzig could have even gotten a win they would not have deserved to be honest. Sunday games didn't see anything of these I just know that Köln uh, gets back on track they conceded five in Dortmund now they score for themselves against Freiburg. Freiburg a little bit on a dive now. Um, yeah it was 1-0 uh, at the half through Bornau, Cordoba in the 55th makes it 2-0 then stoppage time. They add two more, so to make it a much more imperious scoreline than probably the game was. Paderborn had the lead against Wolfsburg, but Wolfsburg also kind of frees themselves from some trouble. Uh, they turn around just before the half and then uh, end up 4-2 winners. Table now. Bayern back on top. Uh, after a long time, I'm not sure if they have been top this season or, or, or already, but it has been a long time at least until, uh, that, they're, that they're top. Leipzig drops. So within two rounds, Leipzig gave up uh, the um, three-point lead. Now they're uh, behind Bayern and um, they're playing in Munich next weekend. And that's a game that I'm afraid it, it will go a long way telling us how the Bundesliga will go, I think. But I'm, I'm afraid that Bayern will get a relatively easy 2-0 win. And adios, amigos. Dortmund, though, might hang in uh, because Dortmund has been uh, getting results, but they also have a rather rough game against Leverkusen. So let's see how that will uh, be going. Dortmund is the only team that in the top four that has Bayern at home. So uh, that's why I slight edge to Dortmund. Although I really would like to see Gladbach and or Leipzig 
challenge for a title because they're really fun teams to watch as well. So Dortmund is three points behind and Gladbach are also three points behind just on goal difference. Those four, I think, are set for the Champions League uh, next season, unless one of these will have a meltdown. Uh, Leverkusen, Schalke, Hoffenheim make for the U uh, Europa League spots, and then there's already a big, big cut. Uh, Freiburg is coming down. Yes, with three point rule, it can go quick, but the way it looks like Freiburg, Wolfsburg, Augsburg, Frankfurt, Union, Hertha, and Köln is this other teams that will not be really in danger of being relegated, but also will not be able to challenge for European spots, except one of them gets a run. But I think, though, it's a broad midfield. And then uh, relegation zone. Yeah, Mainz, Bremen, Düsseldorf, Pader, Pader, Bayern. Two will go down for sure. One goes into a playoff. It is uh, tight. I mean, the Bremen is in there. They don't look good. It has to be said. Paderborn, I think, is a certainty of going down. Düsseldorf has a chance, I think. And Mainz, I'm a little bit surprised that they are that far down. Anyway, I hope for the next Bundesliga roundup. Uh, yeah, I will already. I'm not sure. I probably will wear a Germany jersey or, you know, I'll pack in another league again and we'll see uh, until I have Bundesliga jerseys. Anyway, let, let me know if you watched any Bundesliga and what you thought about the games. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, also drop a comment uh, to let me know where you think the Bundesliga will be going. Uh, and yeah, I will talk to you soon with uh, La Liga and Serie A. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.